Hey guys, welcome back to Elder Dragon and to another episode of Dragon Melee. Today we are playing some more EDH and we're on the cusp of the Dominaria United release. So we are kind of playing decks that have something somewhat to do with um, Dominaria United in a sense, somewhat maybe. Um, I am playing Yoshimaru Ever Faithful and Rayhan Last of the Abzan which is legendary tribal plus one plus one counters tribal so i'm going to be playing a lot of legends to put a lot of counters on my stuff and rayhan will also allow me to put counters on my stuff if my things die as well so just going to play a lot of big legends and smush people i guess that's what i got yeah. um hi i'm thomas uh, back on dragon melee uh, pleased to be back uh, today I'm going to be playing Nine Fingers Keen uh, from the most recent Baldur's Gate set. Uh, Nine Fingers Keen is a character first seen in a playtest module for 5th edition of Dungeons & Dragons and now has her very own magic card. Um, I didn't get the memo about uh, Dominaria United themed, so this is Gates themed. Um, <laughs> and maybe that was the last game, maybe. <laughs> Nine Fingers uh, wants... Uh, to get as many decks, uh, many gates out onto the battlefield as possible, um, and once I've got nine gates out, um, then I'll be able to start drawing a lot of cards uh, and you know kill people either with combat damage or potentially through a mazes end win con. Hey guys, I'm Jack. I'm playing a Raumi of the Dead Tide today. So the deck is quite centred around a Raumi. It's a uh, plan is to mill as many cards as I can to my graveyard and then use Arami's tap ability to encore out the biggest, scariest creatures and hit my opponents for loads of damage. Sweet. All right. I'm George. I'm back again. Uh, and today I will be playing Stang, a beautiful, wonderful card from Legends, uh, who is getting a new card in Dominaria United, and I'm very looking forward to it. This is a deck based around having two of things. That's it. <laughs> That's all it does. It might win. Very good. Very, we'll very Stang themed. So it looks like me and George got the memo about Dominaria United. <laughs> but anyway. It's fine. It's all nope. good. You can justify anything for any reason. Exactly. Take us away, George. All right, I'll get us going. Uh, and start with a mountain and passing. I will draw for turn. I will play a Nefalia Drown Yard and pass turn. All righty, uh, tap draw, untap nothing. And I shall play in Marsh Flats and I'll pay a light, tap it and crack it. Go get a Triumph and I'll pass turn. I will draw for turn, um, and then I'm going to play a breeding pool. I'm not going to play pay two life, so it's going to come in tapped. Ah, oh, plus turn. Uh, I'm going to play a forest and pass. I will draw. I will play a swamp. Tap the swamp, tap the drown yard, and I will play an undead butler. On ETB, I'll mill three cards. Island and another land, and then I will pass turn. Cool, that was very quick. Still shuffling. Look, first few turns, everything's yeah. fast. Very, very wholesome. Nothing degenerate. Yeah, none of us have none of us have gone on a weird soul ring tangent where we've played eight artifacts. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Okay, untap. Drop. Uh, does this come in? Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Well, gonna have to do it. I have this Shattered Sanctum, which comes into play tapped, because I only have one land, not two. And I pass it. All right. Two other lands. lands. Upkeep draw. Ah, uh, two other lands, okay. Because yeah. if it was two lands... Uh, I'm going to play a snow-covered island as my land for the turn. 
Uh, and I mean, if nobody else is going to ramp, uh, I will. So I'll pay two and I'll cast a Mind Stone. Uh, and then I'll pass it. I was planning to ramp, I just <laughs> didn't. I think that's a very palatable ramp. ramp. I don't have a problem with that ramp. Delighted to hear it. Uh, I'm going to play a mountain and actually play a creature of my own. A two-headed Cerberus. It is a one-two double strike dog. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Very nice on two theme. Two-headed Cerberus. <laughs> what happened yeah. to the other head? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I don't know. Union bills, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> is that your turn? Yeah, yeah, I got nothing. It's it's not yeah. got haste. It's not going anywhere. Untap draw. Um, I will play Island as land for turn. I will then ramp myself by tapping three for a Patriarch Seal, which is a Baldur's Gate Mana Rock. It uh, taps for a mana of any color, but I can also use it to untap a legendary creature I control. Um, so I should say that it's it's traditional when you uh, on Dragon Melee for the first time. Uh, if Keeper is open and you have a creature to to, to, to just to that hit, that is Keeper. not a thing. That <laughs> is a, not I'm thing. pretty sure that's a tradition. <laughs> I mean, maybe we should make it a tradition. Well, if it's a tradition, then I'm going to oh my God. turn sideways with Undead Butler and swing at Keeper for a single damage. <laughs> oh, undead butt to the face. Oh, and then that worked. I will pass turn. <laughs> On tap. Also, a new tradition. Tradition. Anytime Thomas is playing, we kill him. <laughs> yeah, that that actually is a tradition. <laughs> I mean, one hundred percent of games I've been in with Thomas, Thomas has died. So. Yeah. Um, okay. I have one. Play. I have won some games, but you'll. Just yeah, but I wasn't to, there. I won't. I won't tell the viewers which. They'll just have to go and look at all the uh, different games. To... Yeah, they'll have to watch every single one. I play playing. All of them. Um, I'm going to tap green and whatever. I'm going to play the Ring Heart Crest. It is an artifact from Kaldheim. I don't think anybody's ever seen this card before. And it's the backside of one of the gods. It says when it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Uh, I'm going to choose Doge. And it says tap, add green mana. Or and then spend this mana only to cast a creature spell of the chosen type or a legendary creature spell. But it doesn't really help me with my dog mm. because it's, it's white mana or it's green mana, yeah. and there's only white mana. So yeah. But most of my things are legendary anyway. So I'm gonna tap mm. this white mana. Yeah. Cast my Doge. And pass turn. I'm pretty sure that they around. What did I counter? I, I was gonna yeah, say, is there, I, is there I, a clever I, reason I, that I, you it's did? It's a legendary artifact. Yeah, yeah. Do, mm. do, do you want to, to take a, what are they called, a take backsy counter? Take backsy, oh, that's from the, the channel that must, must not be made, though. but I'll do it anyway. Mm. <laughs> so pretend I did that the other way around. We're happy to say you did. It's early enough. <laughs> Absolutely. You, I mean, you can just change it in the edit. Mm. Uh, yeah, just right. pretend we didn't do anything. <laughs> in fact, you can uh, just edit out our turns. Exactly. I'm going to play, play a swamp as I'm my land pass. for turn, uh, and then I'm going to tap four black, green, and blue, and colorless, and I'm going to cast my commander. Uh, so nine fingers keen is a four-four human rogue with a menace and ward pay nine life. Uh, and also, whenever Nine Fingers Keen deals combat damage to a player, I'm going to look at the top nine cards of my library. I may put a gate card from among those cards onto the battlefield. And then, if I control nine or more gates, I put the rest of those cards into my hand. Otherwise, they're going to go on the bottom of my library in a random order. However, Nine Fingers Keen does not have haste, so I'll be passing the turn. Was there, like, nine lines of text there? Uh, there is... Exactly nine lines of text, yeah. Uh, on point, but also awful. Dreadful. Too many words. Was, at least someone there uh, followed through. Yep. I'm just sad that it's not a 9-9. Nine, nine. Right, uh, I'm going to play uh, Grove of the Burn Willows. Yeah. Uh, however, I'm not giving you any life right now. I'm going to tap it for... Oh, 
yeah, no, yeah, I can tap it for colorless for this. And it's time for me to do a bit of ramping of my own with a Sky Shroud claim. I'm gonna go find two forest cards and put them into play untapped. Uh, well, that's a good option. Here's me trying to remember how many duels I actually put in this deck. Preferably as many as possible, because they do two things. They do. Next question is how many of them have the types of them? There is like three, maybe four. No. Five. Well, there's about to be another one. Yeah. But the set isn't out yet, so oh well. They don't have the types on it, though. Uh, the new basic yeah, duels. Uh, the... Uh, the, the new non-basic duels that are common in Dom U. Uh, they have the types common. on them. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, they have the types on them. Which makes them really good. I like them a lot. It's like the snow duels. Yeah, and I liked them a lot for the same reason. It's Not for the nice fact that they have snow. It's just nice to have kind of budget options. Um... You know, in lieu of, uh, you know, the fetches, the duels, the budget shocks. options mm. for your yeah. well to get with budget options. Budget options to get with Sky Shroud claim, Bar Seek, uh, three visits, all those things Misty that Rain care about Forest. the actual. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <sighs> Look, if you've already paid out for the fetches, you don't have any more money. That's true. So yeah, you can't buy. You're not getting. So well. God, that would be so much. <laughs> it does occur to me that this is obviously incredibly on theme as well, because um, Dominaria United does have a gate in it. There you Just go, one. so it is on theme. There we go. Thran Portal <laughs> will be in this deck from next week. And there's mm, bound to be there is some a sort single of gate. As well. So, Jack, you should be fine as well. Uh, all right, I get those, and... Uh... And then I realize I've wasted everybody's time. Pass. Excellent. <laughs> Shouldn't uh, the other forest be untapped? Uh, no, that one comes in tapped anyway. Okay. Draw for turn. Um, I will play Good land fine. for turn and pass. Nice, quick yes. draw go. Dangerous. Untap, draw. Play Overgrown Farmland, which enters untapped, thankfully. Uh, I'm going to tap the Ring Heart Crest for green mana. Then I shall tap for black. And whatever, one of whatever, to cast Rayhan. Last of the Abzan. She ETBs with three plus one plus one counters on her. She is legendary, so Yoshimaru will get a plus one counter on himself. And let's do two mana for an Arctic Signet as well. Okay. How big is the two headed dog? There are one, two, double strike. One, two, you say? Mm. What about the undead butt? It's just a one, two. Unfortunately, no double strike. All right, my dog's coming with a bite you. Is it three, three? Three, three? Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I'll take, I will, I'll block it with the undead butler and I won't use its death ability, so it will die. Excellent. All right, I will untap, upkeep, and draw. Then I'm going to 
to go to combat. Um, and George, um, you yeah. only have one creature, uh, despite being themed to have two. Uh, and yeah. so while I can, I will swing in uh, with a 4 4 menace. That was going to change next turn, so yes, now is a good time. Uh, I will take four from your commander. Sweet. That will trigger Nine Finger Keen's ability, so I'll look at the top nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I will put a gate from among them onto the battlefield. Um, I'm going to put this gate uh, out, Basilisk Gate. Uh, oh, so this okay. is the gate that Can taps colourless, or I can pay two to give target creature plus X, plus X until end of turn, or X is number of gates I control. I can only do that as a sorcery. I currently have just one gate. Uh, the rest go on the bottom. And then it's my second main. So, I'm going to tap three, blue, black, and colorless, um, and I'm going to cast a Gateway Sneak. Um, gateway Sneak is a 1-3, says whenever a gate enters the battlefield under my control, it can't be blocked that turn, uh, and whenever it deals combat damage to a player, I draw a card. Um, and then I'm going to play my land for the turn. And it's going to be a Golgari guild gate. That's a so gate. for what it's worth, <laughs> gateway sneak is unblockable. Uh, and then... Should I do that? Yeah, let's do that now. Um, I'm going to tap Breeding Pool for green, and to Basilisk gate for colorless. Uh, and I'm going to cast Explore uh, Sorcery. I may play an additional land this turn and draw a card. Draw a card. And then I play in an additional land. It's going to be a Plaza of Harmony. Uh, it's not a gate, but it cares about gates. When it enters the battlefield, if you control two or more gates, which I do, you gain three life. So I'll go up to 43. Uh, and it taps for colorless or a manner of any type a gate I control could produce. Um, not bad at all. So that done, I'll pass turn. I need to defend myself slightly from things that are going on right now. Sounds dangerous. Oh yeah, also untapping my lands would be good. And uh, then I'm going to tap them again. <laughs> uh, and green, green, okay, yeah, I don't need to use the grove to give you life. Uh, I'm going to play a the Cattle War Pride. Uh, it is a three-three cat warrior that can only be blocked by that must be blocked by one creature, if able. Uh, exactly, not more. And so when it attacks, I create X tokens tapped into pl into play, tapped and attacking that are copies of the Cattle War Pride, where X the number of creature the defending player controls pretty good yeah so uh if you attack me the crackback's going to be very bad for <laughs> just saying it's uh, not a card i've seen before i thought it was gonna be colossal dreadmore <laughs> oh no that's a different deck <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so i have a two-headed cerberus uh who's open Oh, is it, uh, how big's your gateway sneak? It's a 1-3, so it would happily block mm. a 1-2 double striker. Yes, it would, and nothing would happen. Uh, oh, well, uh, I guess no one's open. Uh, I mean, Jack uh, does I, seem I to very be... open. Jack's yeah, I know, but you haven't, you haven't done anything. <laughs> it's true, he does have a lot of mana open. He does. He's open more ways than Cool. Uh, in your sorry, in your end step, I'm going to tap okay. for blue, black, 
one, I'm going to tap Nefalia Drownyard to target player Mill's three cards. It's going to be myself. So I will mill a Brainstorm, a Frantic Search, and a Terramorphic Expanse. That's very unfortunate. <laughs> Not creatures. Oh well. And then um, I will untap. Draw for turn. <laughs> um, I will play a land for turn. It's uh, another swamp. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tap for... Uh, I'll tap for a, a blue. I'm going to Thought Scour, target player, who will be myself again, puts the top two cards of his or her library into the graveyard. So, an island, a peer into the abyss, and then I draw a card. Oh! <laughs> Middle and everything for creatures. Unfortunately. All your and then I'm going to... being milled. Well, it's fine. I, I'll, I'll get something there eventually. I have okay. more than just peer into the abyss, I hope. <laughs> um, and then I go to tap for a blue, a black, and one mana to cast around me of the dead tide. Sweet. And I will pass ten. Alrighty. Untap. Keep. Draw. Camera's slipping a bit. I think I'm going to move it. Cool. Calls for more duct tape. <laughs> a rare glimpse behind the scenes of how Dragon Melee is put together. <laughs> the entire show is held up by duct tape. <laughs> That's better. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, cool. That's a lot better. All right. I shall play Boseju, who endures as land turn. It's a legendary land, so Yoshi gets a counter here. And then... One, two, three. Mana. I'll play Tusk Guard Captain. He is a 2 3 with Outlast for one green. So I can pay a green, tap it to put a plus one counter on the creature. Do that when it's a sorcery. And he says each creature you control with the plus one plus one counter on it has Trap Ball. Mm. Which is pretty good. Uh. Then let's do black, white, and green. So Abzan colors, and I'll play Abzan Ascendancy. So when Abzan Ascendancy enters the battlefield, I put a plus one counter on each creature I control. So one there, another one here, and another one here. And it also says whenever a non-token creature you control dies, create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. So now all my creatures are trampoly. And Yoshi is a 5-5 trample, Rayhan is a 4-4 trample. Okay, dokie. I've got a combat. Thomas, I'm gonna send a 5-5. Trampoline Yoshimaru at you. That does make sense. I am on the highest life total. Exactly. I will I take five commander damage and go down to 38. Excellent. Then I shall pass turn. Alright. Untap. Upkeep. And draw. Um, okay. So I'm going to play my land of the turn, um, and it's going to be uh, Vesuva. Um, I may have Vesuva enter the battlefield tapped as a copy of any land on the battlefield. Tapped. Uh, I'll have it enter as a copy of Basilisk Gate. Um, it, uh, that uh, means that a gate enters the battlefield, so gateway sneak will be unblockable. Then I think I will go to combat. Um, so I'm going to attack with both of mine, mainly so that they can't be forced to block 
a cat warrior next turn. Uh, so Gateway Sneak is unblockable. It's a 1-3, I'll send that at Kiefer. Uh, and Nine Fingers Keen is a 4-4 four, four with Menace, and I'll send that at Jack. I will take uh, one damage. Yeah, no blocks for me. I will take four commander damage. Cool. I get two triggers. Uh, I'll do the Gateway Sneak first, so I'll draw a card, uh, and then I'll look at the top nine. And I'll reveal Gondgate. Ooh, that's a uh, good one. Gond- no, it's it's it, it, Baldur's Gate is the best one, I think. But uh, so this is the one that allows gates I control to enter the battlefield untapped. I mean, that's pretty uh, which good. Is, yeah, it's pretty pretty good. good. <laughs> it gets rid of any uh, disadvantage of playing gates. Yeah, your gates I'll are just, now jewels. A deck full of jewels. <laughs> I'll just have a quick look at what's on uh, the thing at the bottom. And then I'll have a look at what I drew. Okay. Um. Okay, I think I'm going to tap. Uh, blue, blue, green, because I can produce green at the gate, and two mana, like that. Um, and I'm going to cast Morit of the Frost. So Morit of the Frost is a legendary shape-shifting snow creature changeling thing, but uh, you may have it enter the battlefield as a copy of a permanent you control, except it's legendary in snow in addition to its other types, and if it's a creature, it enters for two additional plus and plus encounters on it. And as Changeling, I'm actually going to have it enter as a copy of uh, Basilisk Gate. Uh, so I actually now have three Basilisk Gates, uh, and two of them are copies. Cool. Uh, That's quite scary. Yeah. Just yeah, it is. Uh, then... Anyone packing Armageddon? <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope not. Our pre-game conversation definitely didn't uh, validate mass land destruction. It didn't um, talk about it. <laughs> that's true. So my gate count is up to five. I think that's all that I can do with my turn. Uh, so... I... Um... Going... Uh, unless, hang on, so I'm just, uh, I'm just a, a big brain play moment. I'm just having to think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. So if, if, if you may bear with me, can we pretend that Morita the Frost is still on the stack? Sure. Yeah, there was no, yeah, no, okay. <laughs> no, you know, there's no, no, sure. no. Go- Nothing has changed. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap. Hang on. I can't do what I was going to do. Oh. Because I cannot produce blue mana. Uh, yep. I don't. Only gate colors. I, I can't. I've not got a gate that can produce blue mana, so I cannot produce blue mana. So, you'll just have to be on tenter hooks as to what. <laughs> I was going to cast <laughs> with a spell on the stack. Oh, uh, is it some sort of cloning spell? Or... Spoiler alert, it's double major. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll pass the turn. Yes, because it suddenly occurred to me that Morris of the Frost, while it's on the stack, is a creature. Uh, and so it would be target spell by double major, and then they would both enter as lands. Uh, which would have been quite a fun little play. And so Morit of the Frost is now not a creature, it was just a land? Well, just it's, a land. Yeah, it's a land. Yeah. Well, still not getting any additional mana. That one ramp was apparently all that deck's going to give me. <laughs> so... Uh, 
I'm gonna just bring out a two-headed dragon. Uh, it's a dragon with two heads. It's yes. got flying. Uh, it can block an additional creature. It's got menace. Uh, and for two mana, it can get plus two plus out. That's very two themed. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, Thomas, you're being very scary. Thank you. That's very kind of you to say so. Uh, so I'm going to attack you with a uh, Nakatal War Pride, which it creates three. two copies of itself. Do they have to be attacking uh, me? They are attacking. Uh, they have to be attacking you. Yes. Oh dear. Well, They're all uh, coming uh, at you. I have no creatures that I could put in front of them, which means. I'm well, then you're taking... going to take. You're going to be taking nine damage there. That, that is the way the game works. I go down to twenty-nine. How fitting that you should take nine damage, Thomas. Yes. <laughs> what nine fingers Keen would have wanted. Uh, anyway. Uh, that's a underwhelming turn, but I'm done. Hey, I will untap, draw. Um, I will play a land for turn. It's another swamp. Getting uh, slightly flooded with swamps. <laughs> I will Ironic. tap three, four, five six mana uh, and I will throw down a Dreadhound into the battlefield I mill three cards mm -hmm. a Soul Ring oh god Kakusho there we go Island oh Kakusho is a good hit <laughs> um, and then it has whenever a creature dies or a creature card is put into a graveyard from a library each opponent loses a life Kakusho is a creature that was put into the graveyard so you, everyone loses a life um, then I'm slightly scared of everyone's big creatures so I will pass turn okay turn. Oh, I'll tap five by that, and I'll cast Return of the Wild Speaker. I will choose to draw cards equal to the greatest power among non-human creatures that I control. Uh, I'll choose Yoshi, and I will draw five cards. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Much better. Let's play land for turn, which is the plains. Take the three mana potentially. Interesting. Okay. So, I'll tap my Ring Heart Crest for green mana. Tap the planes for white mana, and the Arcane Signet for mana. For three mana. And I'm gonna cast Hamza, Guardian of Russian. He would cost six mana, but the spell costs one less to cast for each creature I control with a plus and plus and on it, so I'm getting a reduction of three. Sure. Uh, he is a 5-5 five five Elephant Warrior, and he says creature spells you cast cost one less to cast for each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it. He is also a legend, so Yoshimaru will get a counter. Thomas, remind me what Basilisk gate does again. 
basilisk yeah, gate. All of, the well, what I do they put, all do? I can put two mana uh, and tap basilisk gate, so for a sort of three mana in total, uh, including itself, and I can give a target creature plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of gates I control, and that's currently five. So I could, in theory, spend all my mana to give a creature plus 15 plus 15 at the moment. Uh, and um, I can only do that at sorcery speed, so I can't do it as a combat trick. Uh, but I can obviously do it before combat and then say, well, here comes a 19-19. Uh, yeah. And Nine Fingers Keen has Menace. That is true. And you do not yet have a Rogue's Passage. Which I know is in there. It's in there somewhere. Um, it may it may already be at the bottom of the library. But, uh, <clears throat> it could also be in your hand. Who knows? I'm sure you'll never tell us. Um... Okay, it's tricky, because if I to attack, I can get through Thomas, but then I'll leave myself open to the kitty cat on George's side to come and smack me. You could just make a deal. Could. Yes, I'm, I, that's good advice, George. Kiefer, you, I would be happy to make a deal with you. <laughs> we also got a Kakusho waiting. <laughs> to, to pop out I mean I, hey, you, there are yeah. there are things going on and I'm happy to let you do it I am I on won't the hit you with the cats I did die to Dreadhound first yeah what does Dreadhound do again uh, whenever a creature card whenever a creature dies or a creature card is put into a graveyard from a library each opponent loses a life so if I'm milling I, uh, I can drain you okay. yes your so creatures you, you or your creatures or cards or, or, or ours? It's whenever or. a creature dies. Alright, just any once. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's not nice. And how big is Dread Ham? So you're five five or something? It's a six six. It's a pretty big boy. Six. So it's yeah. It's just just protecting my, my my assets. Yeah. Like my poor little Merfolk. <laughs> okay. Um Oh, tricksy, tricksy decisions. Big stuff. Also big stuff. Thomas doesn't have anything blocking currently, but can do 15 damage to me next turn if he wants. Well, I mean, you can just put stuff in front of it. It doesn't have trample. It doesn't, but I would lose the stuff, which is not the worst, because I'll get its counters. Yeah, you've got you've got some protection. What's your, what's your damage count from Yoshi? Thomas. I have taken uh, the I think it's five you did for me last time. Yeah, yeah I've got I'm on five commander damage. So I'm Sixteen away from. Okay, let's put a bit of sweat on your brow. Then I guess I'll send Yoshi at you for six. Ooh, well I've got no blockers. Um, in response, I'm going to tap Gond Gate for colorless. I'm going to sacrifice Mindstone for a card. Mm -hmm. <gasps> and then I'll take. Six commander damage and go down to 22. Amazing. And that's all she ripped. Okay, in that case, I'll untap. And draw for turn. Okay, I'm going to pay blue, blue, one, um, and I'm going to transmute Talaria West. Uh, so I'm going to discard it, and search my library for a card with CMC zero, review it, put it into my hand, and shuffle my library. Looks like someone's look going to get the rogue's passage. Yeah, look, you see here at the bottom of my library, right where I said it was, <laughs> is a rogue's passage. Um, so I'm going to put that into, put that into my hand. I feel like I'm going to get a lot of damage. Now. <laughs> uh, not this turn. <laughs> uh, 
because I don't have enough mana to activate Rogue's Passage and Basilisk Gate. True. You could activate it maybe once. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, making Nine Fingers Keen very big is, is also a way to, you know, make it sort of unblockable. Just mm -hmm. like not. But I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do instead is I am going to spend a turn on defense, but you know. I put a massive target on my back. I'm not going to spend a turn not dealing with my enemies. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play Black Dragon Gate. Black Dragon Gate and uh, Battlefield Taps a bit because Gone Gate it doesn't. Uh, when it ETBs, choose a color other than black. I'll choose blue. So now my gates do tap for, uh, or these two tap for blue as well. Um, that's going to make Gateway Sneak uh, unblockable, uh, which is great. And I am going to go to combat, and I think that I'm going to attack you, Jack, uh, for one damage that you can't Yep. Make. One unblockable. I will take one damage. It's unblockable. Ooh. And I won't forget this. Oh, <laughs> oh that's, that's, that's some fighting words. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pay two for a charcoal diamond. Charcoal diamond comes from two point tapped. I'm going to pay... Uh, uh, actually, hang on. Yeah, I'll be dead before I get to do that. Yeah. Uh, no, if I play that, it just dies to cats. Um, I'm going to pay one. Uh, get some of those colors matter. Um, and I'm going to cast Expedition Man. Uh, which I can use to get a land card into my hand, if need be. Uh, but that's, I think, going to be it. So, presenting what I recognize as a pretty scary threat. I'm going to see whether or not I live a turn. See. Huh. So I still didn't get any lands, so... Hmm. If I not for that Sky to... Shroud claim, you'd have been pretty stuck. I'd be on four, ma I'd be on four mana, yeah. Uh, so... Okay. I'm going to tap these. And even though this is an instant, I'm going to play it now. Mm -hmm. uh, shared summons. I'm going to go find two creatures cards with different names and put them into my hand. Yep. That's quite good. And on theme. Oh, yep. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying the theme. It's very noticeable in the cards. <laughs> is, my, is, is, my, is my guild gates? Is my guild gates theme? Does that come through? I well? can see them. I can see uh, your guild gates. I, I'm scared of your basilisk gates. I, yeah, that's scary. The one now that you have three of them, especially. The one thing you haven't done, which George has done, George and um, Thomas. Is that George's sleeves are also themed? You need to get That's a gate. True. You need to get a gate sleeve. This is a, a very good point. I'll try and rectify that as soon as I can. <laughs> can I get a creature that will help me with mana? Did I put any in? It's got to be a creature that taps for two mana. Oh, yeah, finishing up the Lanoir elves. 
There's a couple. I don't know if they're in Gruul, though. Ooh. Yeah, there's 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 a green one that taps for two if you control a creature. Ill Illithid Carriered or something? Yeah, Illithid Illusion, ca Illusion Carriated. Yeah, yeah, if I have if I have large creatures, uh, it taps for two. Yeah, Leaf can Druid will do it. Oh, okay. If you control four creatures, I think. Taps for two, two green. I know, I know Devoted Druid, you can minus one, minus one to untap it, which... Uh, I thought it would be quite funny in a Merkle deck when you make it an enchantment and give it hundreds yeah. of minus one, minus one counters, and it just sits there. Yeah, or a plus right. one counters deck where the plus one counters annihilate the negative one, negative one counters. All right, I didn't find anything to increase my banner reserves, but I did find stuff that will actually allow me to do things in well, this game. Just as good. Eventually. <laughs> just not right now, because I've only got one mana. I feel like you are lucky that uh, you won't, I feel, be targeted first. I have I, I feel that, that is created a big yeah. bullseye on myself, and I'm standing next now, to you, being like, don't kill him, kill me. <laughs> unfortunately for me, I have to reveal these cards. Uh, so I'm going to reveal Kiki Jiki. Oh. Kill him That's first. Dangerous. And Fiendish Duo. Yeah, so I take off my bullseye t-shirt and I pass it to George and I say, congratulations, you're now the proud owner <laughs> okay. of Things are happening, enemy so number one. Mm -hmm. What? Fiendish Geo just makes it so you all damage each other more. What's wrong with that? Yeah. yeah the yeah. fact that it was only available in a uh, game nights? Yes, it was oh, It yeah. was from, ga it's from game night, yeah. <laughs> It's What's quite a scary problem? card, that. I've not seen it before. You wouldn't. You, you're unlikely to us. Yeah, you can only get it in like a very specific like kitchen it, table. A, game a, night. A, a kitchen table box product from like... I don't know if it was the first or second one Phoenix Stewart was, was in. It yeah. was the second one. Uh, I got them both. They yeah. are great products. Really good like entry level. Uh, Looking six, forward to the new one. Thanks. Five, <laughs> Thanks, five, Wizard. Five. Yeah. Please, send us product. I'll happily, you know, big it up for you. Yeah. I will also happily big up Double Masters and, you know, all sorts of other good high-end products. Just send me it all. Mm. Yeah, just just give us some and we'll say what you'll want us to yeah. say. I'll even say how good the, the foils are, even though, you know, they're still... <laughs> Trash. I'll sing the praises of, of Commander Legends Baldur's Gate, so clearly I'm the one that's willing to debase myself the furthest. <laughs> oh, no, no. I mean, yeah, it's true. What I, a great I, it, draft it, it, experience that was. I really enjoyed the Baldur's Gate just, draft. It was excellent. I just, I just, that was the one thing it was good at. I just tried to go lower and tried to praise uh, Innistrad double feature, but I can't. I, I can't bring myself to do no, it. Don't stupid. Even as a joke. <laughs> I uh, can't how about, do it. How about so few people opened it that it now has quite high resale value? I uh, bought a couple packs of it and I got an, a nice the because the, they're all in the black I got an Adeline she looks great I'm very happy with that card some of the cards look good yeah most of them look terrible because they weren't designed to be black and white yes I wish I wish there were a lot more so that I could make a like a film because I've got an Eloise and a Thalia Sleuth deck and I'd love to make oh, a really film that. noir but uh, yeah yes. that would be great just, Not enough. Just leave all of the cards out in the sun for a while, and make them all <laughs> lose their color fairly quickly. Uh, anyway, uh, because I'm in a situation where if I get attacked, I'm absolutely bound. Uh, I'm gonna pass. Oh, I will untap. Let's see what I draw. I have a feeling we're getting Kakusha at this time. Um, good chance. I, I don't. Probably. I, I need to do something. I, mean, I was I was worried we were going to get cuckoo showed in uh, uh, George's end step. Uh, um, no, activate only as a sorcery. Yeah. yeah. We could. You were worried over nothing. Because Encore That's makes true. three copies. It does. It makes a copy for each opponent. So we'll, we'll go yeah. into it. So I'm going to tap oh, around no. me. <laughs> and then I would uh, exile three cards. I will exile uh, Smurged Boneyard, an island. And an island. Yeah. So I exile one for each opponent. Target creature card is going to get Encore. That'll be Kakusho. Mm -hmm. 
Then to cast Kakusho, I pay its mana cost, which is seven, including two black, or six rather. Um, and then I create, I exile Kakusho and create three token copies. They gain haste and I sacrifice them at the beginning of the next end step. So I'll tap for four. It's gonna hurt. Five, Especially six. Especially because each of them are going to die and enter his graveyard. Exile Kakusho. Yeah. Oh, Thomas, you yeah. might die. Create. Uh, be in danger, yeah. Three token copies of Kakusho. He's only doing this because I hit him for one damage with Gateway Sneak. The copy I'm going to leave alive <laughs> after Legendary Rule it will be the one that's going at George. Oh, yeah, so, okay. so yeah, yeah, three there's, enter there's the two battlefield now. and two immediately die. So that's going to be you each lose 10 life and I gain 10 life, but you each lose an additional two life off of Dreadhound. You gain 30 life. Uh, uh, only gain, two of them die. You gain die. Life as, mu as much life as we lost, I think. Huh? Uh, each opponent loses five yeah. life, and you gain life equals the life lost this way, so I gain 30. Oh, yeah. Uh, wow, so the past three turns, each person has put the biggest target on themselves. First of all, it was like, whoa, look at that Thomas. He, he got to kill him first. Then it was like, oh, George has got Kiki Jiki. Better take him out. And then it's like, oh yeah, Jack's just going to kill us straight away if we don't. Uh... Jack, did we take two more damage from your blood, your Dreadhound? Yeah, so yeah, they, they, they die and go to the graveyard, so that'll be an additional two from Dreadhound. And then um, uh, you're attacking me with a flying dragon. It's got haste and it has to attack, so I'm going to swing at George with a 5-5. Five, five I am the only one who can block it. Yes. He wants it to die. Yeah, if you block it, yeah, it kills your dragon, and if you don't block it, you That's take five. True. I'll, t uh, I guess I'll take uh, five, and then five when that thing dies. Okay, so Kakusho deals combat damage. Second main phase, end step. I sacrifice Kakusho, the token copy. It dies, so you'll each take six damage because Dreadhound will see it die, and I will gain fifteen. Oh, okay. I'm on four. The tables have turned dramatically. Although I Thomas can just one-shot me with um with uh, Keen, no. and I can't do that again because Kukusha is now exiled. I don't actually think I have the mana to to literally one-shot you. Annoyingly. Well, you just tutor up Bowder's Gate. Yeah, I shall not die. Yeah, but I can't play two lands, and I need the Rogue's Passage. You have Menace, don't you? Oh yeah! Oh, I'm just gonna kill you next turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did my thing. I went to 80 life, yeah. but in fact, let me know when you go to your end step. Uh, I will move to my end step. Well, okay. I've already done I'm it. I'm gonna but... tap two basilisk gates, and I'm going to sacrifice expedition map, and I'm gonna go and search for a land card and reveal it and put it into my hand. It's gonna be. It's gonna be the top card. I already know. This game gonna is not going to last too long, I think. It's going to be Dimir Gilg... No, it's not going to be Dimir Gilg <laughs> I mean, it could be Thespian Stage to make a copy of Plaza and Harmony to gain through Ono because it doesn't enter the battlefield. Uh, no. It was... It can make a copy of Baldur's Gate. There you go. So uh, that is going to go into my hand. There's no other effect for me. Cool. Well, I'll pass turn to Kiefer. Yeah, we've already untapped and drawed. Okay, um... Things are looking sketchy. One, adding green here. Two, three. Oh, hang on. I'm getting a discount from Hamza. Discount of three. Creature spells you cast cost one less to cast for each creature you control. Plus, plus, can on it, which is three. So, actually, this is much better. Hmm. Uh, well, actually, it's this guy's still better. No. Okay. So, discount of three from Hamza. I will tap a this for green. That for doesn't matter. Uh, or that for black, actually. That makes sense and white and two more 
Then I'll cast Carador Ghost Chieftain. He is a 3 4. It says uh, this spell costs one less to cast for each creature in your graveyard, what I haven't done. And, but he says during each of your turns, you may cast a creature spell from your graveyard. I also haven't done. So, very good. Well, it's still a 3 4 blocker. It is. And it's a legend, so Yoshi will get a counter. Okay. Uh, alrighty. How big is uh, Dreadhound again? Six six. A six six. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Jack's not going to be scared about taking normal old life he's gonna, and he's scared really about that's quite, the, the, yeah there's there's a lot of it I was going to say you sort of need to leave me alive to one shot Jack um, which means I, I am on four cadet commander damage from you already as well yeah um, but uh, yeah I'm going to be sorry yeah, I'll need to tap two basilisk gates but... so Kiefer I think that uh, given that I'm on four life George might be your biggest threat to you. True. Good reasoning. Hmm. Can't refute it. Yeah. <laughs> we true. all saw Kiki Jiki. Except, uh, Kiki. yeah, the only thing that was. Yeah, I mean, Kiki Jiki's in my hand. I showed you. <laughs> yeah. Two headed dragon is a 5 5? Uh, it's a 4 4. Goes infinite. It's a 4 4, it's a four, 4 that can block two creatures. Oh, right, yeah. Don't know if that's helpful right now. Because you will block because you don't want to lose. Oh, absolutely. Time. I don't want to die. Thank you very much. I am going to just pass a turn and not cause any problems for anyone. Well, sadly, I don't think I have that option, because I think I die very quickly. You, you've got to, to get rid of Jess. You've got to yeah. get rid of her. Or you're, or you're toast. Yeah, I think it's sad, because I am toast on the flip side. Not even good toast, just like straight up burnt dry toast. Oof. All right. Me offering to kill Dreadhound in my turn wouldn't save me, would it? <laughs> I don't think it saves me, though. Uh, oh, I'll put the offer there, then. I, I'm I mean, happy it's, it's to not, it's, it's not a bad offer. The trouble, is, the, way that, the trouble is, I think, the way that you take us out is that sort of universal kind of pingy aristocrat-style damage. And it's um, on the one's life total. Yeah, I, I do die to that first, um, and I do. And I, it is it's a difficult one. I mean, you know, right? Game theory. Like, if I attack you, I'm probably going to die on a crack back from probably George, maybe Kiefer. If I don't attack you, I still think I die, and so it's sort of, uh, yeah, it's a, it's, a... it's whether or not you want to come last or third. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you don't come first, you lost the game. There is no other. Yeah. There's no other just, yeah. position. No points for second place. I'm just trying to work out if there's anything that I can do. Uh, I, mean, I have got a crop rotation in hand now, but sadly I think I've taken all the really good lands out of my deck. <laughs> um, okay. And the player land of the turn is going to be Baldur's Gate, uh, which is a legendary land that's to give me enough mana, like a lot of mana, given that I've got seven gates. Uh, that's going to make Gateway Sneak unblock, which is a big deal. Uh, so I'm going to tap two you and tap... <laughs> <laughs> tap two and tap Baldur's Gate uh, to add seven... Mana. Green, green mana to my mana pool. Uh... And I'm going to use six of it. No. 
you're on Jack, you say you're, you've taken a, four, a hit of four already. You've done four commander damage to me, yeah. Okay, so Bowser's case, seven, 14, 18 is enough. Oh. So I'll do four and then I'll keep uh, three green floating. Um, and maybe just get some blockers out. So I've got three green floating. I'll add a, another one to that. I'll cast a Stone Cedar Hierophant. So it's a 1-1 one, one with whenever a land comes into play under my control, I can untap it. Uh, and I can tap it to untap target land, which feels like shenanigans could ensue if I live that long. Then... I'm gonna... Uh, I think that I want to double major it, because that might be the last thing that helps keep me alive. Yeah, I'm gonna tap Gond Gate for blue, Plaza of Harmony for green, and uh, while that's on the stack, I'm gonna double major it uh, to create a second stone seeker uh, hierophant. And then I'm going to go to combat and Ether, I'm going to attack you with a gateway sneak and Jack I'm going to attack you with a, uh, an 18-18 menace I will declare no blocks Oh, uh, It's a 1-1 one, one to me, right? It is unblockable 1-1 one, one. I will take one Okay, I'll draw a card from that Nine fingers will trigger. One, two. Three, six, you were close, seven, Jack. Eight. I was. I was incredibly dangerous. When you were if you'd done, if you'd done four more, then I'd have been taken out. If those uh, and you'll be, two shows weren't legendary, you would have taken them out. You'll be delighted to learn that I, uh, I whiffed on, on games. I, I could have left. I could have left the Kakusha oh. going at Thomas to be fair, and uh, but I thought, yeah, thought I'll play nice. Yeah, you thought, yeah. yeah I went one Jeremy shot. <laughs> Unfortunately, I also uh, just tried to be different and not add Dark Ritual to the deck, and I've added Songs of the Damned, which is just worse. But I could have could have kept myself alive there if I'd had Dark Ritual true. instead. Right. Very true. How do I stay alive? I'm not 100% sure. I don't think this is the winning line, but we're going to find out anyway. I'm going to tap this for black, this for blue, and this for green. And I'm going to cast Painful Truths. I draw X cards and I lose X life, where X is the number of colors of mana spent to cast the spell. And that was three. So I'll go down to one and I'll draw three cards. That seems incredibly dangerous. It's okay. More than one... just staying at four life with nothing? Oh, thank goodness. I just drew that, uh, that green free fog. Uh, that's, you know, free if you've got your, yeah. your command route. Oh, what a relief. Oh, that's yeah. that's just the card I needed. So, good news, yeah. that's in my hand. I guess There's no point top. in attacking. No point just, attacking. Just don't, yeah. I don't see. even. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't okay. All right. You're very lucky. The top card of my deck was uh, Conrad. And actually, one of the other ones is <laughs> Fierce Guardian. So, Fierce Guardianship. So, uh, yeah, look, there we go. Oh, so you're sitting pretty then. Yeah. And the other card I drew is the the, the free black one. Oh, oh I don't even remember that. <laughs> and then, for the avoidance of doubt, I'm passing turn to you, George. He's deep in thought. Mm. I've got to survive what comes next, so. Yeah. yeah, we're definitely in a reservoir of dogs situation. You know, all of us with kind of guns pointed at everyone else. I just have a dog pointed at everyone. <laughs> and you, you're gripping the chair, okay. you're letting it run through your fingers. Yeah. Okay, I, I think I've got a line. We're going to try it. Uh, I'll, 
can't see Kiki Jiki. Well, I've seen enough. I can see it. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah, I'm going to tap Kiki Jiki, create a copy of Nakatl War Pride. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to go to combat. I'm going to attack. Uh, Tom- Thomas, you don't have any flyers, correct? I have no flyers. Here's a two-headed dragon. Oh dear. Uh, and absolutely everything else is coming at Kiefer. Uh, how many creatures do you have, Kiefer? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I will create ten copies of Nakatl War Pride that are attacking you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, but... So you have a two-headed Cerberus and twelve copies of Nakatl War Pride heading in your direction. Uh, you must block the Nakatl War Brides if possible, and with only one creature for each. Okay. Any can you can you Go can ahead. you just to check can, can you, with the, the Nakatl War Bride? Could you mm. say, well, I'm going to block what, the two-headed Cerberus, and then that creature is unavailable to block. Uh, you are forced to block. Okay. Well, to be fair, the Nakatl War Bride would, in fact, still do more than the. So yeah, 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 I'm just. I, I was but, just I, I, but no, you are forced into the Nakatl War Pride block before any other considerations. Unless you do this. Mm. Yes, no, no, Kiefer, no. save us. Save us. To fairy protection. No, it, that only <laughs> saves you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Kiefer. Yes! I was. Yes! I was bluffing about the fog. I didn't actually have it. Yeah. <laughs> so I can. I, I, I'm gone. Yeah. I, yeah I, 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 disappears. I, you die to a dragon. I died to and, two, uh, two-headed, two-headed dragon. Yeah. And then I go to my, I go to my end step, and eleven the cattle war brides leave the battlefield. <laughs> okay. Thank goodness, Treadhound's not alive. Mm. Uh, they're all no. exiled. Uh, oh no! Oh, only they one exiled. died. One died, the rest were exiled. Oof. Okay. And I, now I'm going to die, I think. I face back in. Oh, I'm down. <laughs> uh, yeah. would, would, would you uh, keep me alive if I give you the gift of one life? Absolutely not. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Is there a deal to be made? So you're tapped. You, you got one land. I'm appreciate. completely tapped out. I've got one land. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really hope that George has got the the, the fog. Oh no, you've not got your commander out. All right, let's. Uh, uh, no, let's but I can actually afford actual fog. Oh yeah, that's you true. Can. You can. The OG and best. Let's uh, add some insult to injury for. I'm gonna pay one. Oh look at me showboating now. <laughs> I'm gonna pass the exile, Kiki Jiki. Oh my god. You can search for a. All one, right, Kiki Jiki is exiled. Uh, uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna do it. You're making me, so I'm gonna. Uh, that just make me. And angry. George never stopped shuffling, and <laughs> the game never ended. Oh, what an interesting, uh, what an interesting forest I have here. <laughs> I'll just uh, keep that there for a minute. Just, just look at it. It's lovely. It's got two trees on it. Very fitting. As you can see, there are, there are two. How nice! Thematic land. <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting that for us? Is that what you were getting? Yes. Okay. Comes <laughs> tapped, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I'll just do this for a while. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll cast Kamal's Druidic Vow for X is four. So I look at the top four cards in my library, put any number of land and or legendary permanent cards with Kruger Monica has four or less from among them up on the battlefield with the rest of the year graveyard. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's pretty good. Then for the rest of the new graveyard, so scavenging ooze goes to the graveyard. Plus, I get three lands. Takanuma, Forest, Command Terror. Takanuma is legendary, so the Ocean Army gets countered. Then, can I do anything else? <laughs> no. I've got to come back. 
Uh, 12 life. So, all of these three have trampled. Not that it matters, she's even no creatures. Uh, so, 8, 9, 10, 11. Keith, 12, I, 12. I really don't think you need to worry. I, I, I don't know. I think you've got something. Who knows? <laughs> I gotta send. I suppose I'll send three just to be safe. So, I'll send okay. 15 damage at you. Alright. Alright, we're going to blockers. I'll tap Grove of the Bone Willows for green. Gain a life. Yeah. And I die. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. The, the amount of games. Victory for Kiefer. And my Jack, second... that's why you always hit him first. My second win. Uh, okay, yeah. My second win ever since I started playing this game. Lesson learned. Yeah. Always kill Honestly, Kiefer unless I'm Thomas sure. has Honestly, Ultron. Honestly, uh, Stang doing as well as it did is kind of on brand for this day. <laughs> you need a new stand. It, uh, well, it shouldn't, it shouldn't you, do as well as it does. And also, George, I mean, you did come second, which uh, I guess is thematically exactly what you would have wanted. <laughs> that's, tr that's true. Unfortunately, it's impossible for you to come ninth. Uh, yeah. We but, just need uh, more. We just need more players. If we had had more opponents, I'm sure that you would have ganged them. Mm. Right, 